So once again, we've traveled back to Pandora for Avatar, The Way of Water. Incredibly beautiful movie. It, it has some pacing issues. Like, the opening first hour is a great catch-up, and it's like, here's what we're doing. And then the, the second hour is, you know, now it's all, it's all the water tribe, which is beautiful to look at. I don't know what is James Cameron and, like, bioluminescence, but really gorgeous-looking creatures. And they make sense anatomically, which is always a nice thing. Even the robots they use, the robots actually, they make sense. You know, it's like, oh, this is a, it's a robot that's going to go underwater. Okay, well, it's crab-like. Okay, so, like, the body like, gets, all, gets all tight when it needs to, you know, go through the water, but then it extends out when it needs to do anything on land. I'm like, that's, that's a smart move. Exoskeletons make sense. So if you've seen the, the trailers, you kind of know that the, the main villain from the first one is technically brought back as a, a Navi... Some will call it a spoiler, but if you see the trailers, you obviously see that there's military helping the new group of predominantly monochromatic individuals that have gone back to Pandora for some reason. If you like the first one, you'll like this one too. It's visually stunning. Uh, like I said, the animals look really, really awesome. Um, they have made mention that how they'll make updates to uh, the Avatar ride at Disney Animal Kingdom, and you watch and you go, yeah, I mean, you know, you've got the, we need to bond with this animal. There's a bond with this animal. And it's all done with underwater, and it's really, really beautifully done. Whether you're looking at, all oh, right, it's space shark, space whale. I mean, it's just visually stunning. So that's kind of like the, the, the long and short of it. It's, it's three hours of just incredibly immersive world building. And you know the, the the water tribe looks similar but just slightly different. And you can tell they've got lots more of the is it the Mali? So you very much can tell that there's a, a, a Pacific Islander uh, aesthetic to them with their facial tattoos and all that. And they're slightly different coloring, and anatomically they're just a little bit different. You know they've got little, little like fins on their arms and their tails instead of having little. So just being a straight tail, it's got like the wave to it, so it actually helps them propel in the water. And that again was done really well. So I like the first one, this one's worth seeing. Saw it in 2D, because my daughter can't handle 3D for more than like 20 minutes. This is probably a, a beautiful to watch in 3D. So that's that's the basic one. And now we'll get into you know some of the, the other issues. You might notice that so I saw some family members and we went, so as we left, I went. So why did we go back to Pandora? And they're like, because of the... So the first thing is, well, our the Earth is dying, so we're going to take over the planet Pandora. And I was like, but we can't breathe the atmosphere. It seems like a really dumb thing to do. Like, we found this awesome planet. Cool. Is it habitable for us? No. What about, what about the, the, the planet itself? Every place has got bizarre creatures almost specifically designed to kill you, okay? And if you get a crack in your helmet, you're going to die in seconds. Um, are we finding another planet? But then it was, oh, well, we're also trying to kill, you know, the Jake Sully character who, who stopped the previous expedition on Pandora. And I was like, so, so we're going we're gonna to spend trillions of dollars and do inter- galactic colonization to get back at one person that doesn't that doesn't make any sense you you wouldn't do this level of of work for for one person and then there's the the last third of the film where the the whaling expedition because there's this gland juice that stops aging and a tube is worth like 80 million dollars and they get one tube from the whale the giant space whale that it takes you know, boats and crab robots and a, a giant airship and other boats and like a hundred people. I'm like, like well, that's only 80 million. That's, that's a horrible ROI because you had to fly all this stuff into space. Figure out how to track these things and then track these things to harvest the, the, the goop. I was like, okay. Lots of really cool things. Now, I, 
does the movie actually have a technical end, or does it feel like this is a functionally a prequel to whatever the the, the, the third film is? Yes, so evil space marine Navi does get saved at the end of the film, which then, of course, leads Jake Sully to go, we can't just run. We're going to stay and fight. It's like, but but you, you fought when you were with the ground people, where you guys fought in the air, and now you're with the water people, so you fought in the water. I mean, we're kind of run out of areas, because you've already done... This is Wave Waters, we've already seen. You already did land, and you flew things in the air. Kind of run low on elements. Unless the next one is called, you know, like the Flight of Fire, because there's alliteration in the way of water. It's like, okay. It'd be interesting to see what they what they do for that one. I'd like to, the fact they brought back Sigourney Weaver as her kid, who's another half-breed because of the amount of fingers. Those moments were interesting. I'm like, okay. You know, you, you can tell that there was enough enough stuff done here that if Disney wants to do Disney Plus series and really kind of fill in some of the gaps here and there, there's a tremendous amount of just really great world building here with this. Or maybe Disney decides, they go, hey, you know, James Cameron, what you do is third film. Yeah, are you going to do any more films? Or you might see how this one does because I think he put in a billion dollars to make this film. You know, would this become like an open world video game? I don't know. I mean, the technology is all there and it's, there's definitely enough enough of a following that you could probably take the assets that are there, do some, you know, throw in a couple, another, you know, $100 million to it and make it in some sort of open world sandbox. But I'm like, okay, it was, it was good. Entertaining. Just don't, if you think too hard about it, you're going to hate it because you're like, huh, seeing a real a lot of parallels here. Capitalism, bad. Military just for complex, bad. Whaling, bad. Destroying the environment, bad. What does this cost to make? A billion dollars. Okay. Or if you're like, wait, so why, why, why do we send ships to this planet again after like 13 years? Because of one of these three reasons and that aren't really all fully explored in this three-hour movie. Okay. So we went with pretty pretty to look at. And that's that's it. Pretty and bland. 